Hello everybody, my name is Palm and welcome to welcome back to my channel. So it is we are like this is the second to last episode of Vox Machina. As in like because I'm reacting to 9 and 10, so for me, like second to last episode for Vox that la, 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 la. For me, it's the second to last episode of Vox Machina, and it's just, ah, I'm sad that it's coming, that it's going to be coming to an end, uh, but at the same time, like, I'm really excited to see how this season ends, and I'm very excited to see more of this as well, too. Um, I'm still Sussy Baka of Cass, and I'm very intrigued to see, oh yeah, we're fighting zombies, I forgot, they're fighting like an undead group. Uh, undead monsters and zombies so I'm excited to see how that goes and stuff like that so anyways um you know what the dealio is without further ado let's go and let's get into this video <laughs> oh yes, flashback time to be done. ah I see she made some deal with something to turn him into a vampire to save her husband right yeah I hope we get to see their motive then, because I'm actually really intrigued of, like, why they're doing all of this. That's something I haven't asked myself either, actually. I actually haven't asked why they're doing this, yeah. Oh, oh, there's the book. That's the book! Oh, yeesh. Homegirl just picked up a book from hell and just just went for it she just like yeah let's do it she literally just made a deal with the devil and that's how i ended up turning into a vampire <gasps> oh my gosh why i cannot believe that they're still there in case I wasn't clear before, the undead freaked me out. Oh, same. Why? Same. I'm with you on that one. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Oh, she can fight. Look at that. So Delilah must be indebted to the Whispered One in some way, some bargain. Like, why continue... You know. Oh, that's what I want to say. There must be some catch. Oh, stuck in a death trap, no way out. Zombies always eat the little guy first. They know how delectable I am. Ah! Oh my gosh. She just went for it. Sorry about the chatter and the clanging and the banging that you'll hear in the background. Uh, there's not really much I can do about it, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't live alone, so, you know, kind of have to deal with it. Um, it's also why I recorded the dead of night and not in the morning, but... Good lighting in the morning, so it's what it is. Nobody move. Scanlan. Oh. 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 Oh no, no, no. How bad is it? Could be worse. <gasps> How? Could be my arm. <laughs> like, well, it could be me, which obviously would be worse. <laughs> She's so sassy. I love it. Well, that guy got screwed over. <laughs> Scanlan? Uh, I'm no pike. This is way beyond me. Oh my gosh, his whole arm is gone. He literally, he's literally missing flesh. A chunk of his flesh. We get it, you're smart. Just do something! <laughs> I'm like, please hurry up. <laughs> like a sniper rifle? Damn. Damn. That was sick, though. You and I have unfinished business. Uh, who, me? Perhaps you are confused. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Oh, on second glance, I do recognize lightning! <laughs> <laughs> Can he only do lightning from his crotch? Can Scanlan only use his powers with, like, song or music like does he need like like an instrument to actually like be able to use his ability Meh. no that's not true 
Because when they were fighting, he fought with like, just his middle finger. You want to talk. Oh no. He's gonna get killed, isn't he? And by he, I mean Archie. <gasps> oh my god. He just, he just sliced. He, wow, he just, no time to react, nothing, just clean hit slice. I've got this. Keyleth. Everyone stay back. Let's go, Keyleth. <laughs> Oh, damn, she an ice bender. Actually, technically, Keyleth is the avatar. Have I mentioned you're amazing? <laughs> yes, yes, she's the tits. We still have to go. <laughs> Lex is always ruining their moments. <laughs> no, but Keyleth is seriously, she, oh, she, she is the avatar, dude. She can master all four or five elements. I'm not a leader. I ran. But you're here now. Yours wasn't the only life shattered that day. We're all here. The time is now. I mean, yeah, she's right. Who else is gonna lead them? They're all, the rest of Vox Machina, like, don't know the lands. Despite my desire for vengeance, I fled. And fear kept me from my home. Fleeing is, like, I... People really blame him for fleeing? I don't. Like, why would he was being tortured? Like, he wanted to escape, you know? Like, uh... today is for Archie, for the Dorolos, for Whitestone. Yeah! Let's kill fucking everything! <laughs> I love Grant. I mean, that's all they got against an army like that, bro. I think they're screwed. You know I'm in love with you, right? <gasps> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> now? He actually said it! Wait, what? Come out of the tree! It was an honor fighting with you. Wait. It was a valiant effort, friend. They're all just gonna accept their un impending doom death? Really? Just like that? <gasps> it's time! Whoa! <gasps> Pike! Sup? <gasps> Pike? Holy shit! It's the pickle! Marry me? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Right now! Wait, <gasps> what? what? Seriously? <laughs> no! That's sick! Yeah, she's so powerful now. Damn, Pike. <laughs> Damn. <gasps> Ooh. Ew, ew. Ooh. No, like, I love that the way that they hack away at monsters. It's just so aggressive. Like, they're just letting out their frustration and anger. This. <laughs> oh. Oh, you ain't leaving, buddy. Stay away. You get your hands off me. Get off. You're about to get hacked to death by a mob. Whoa. May your weapons strike with the divine virtue. Oh, she's blessing their weapons. Oh, she could actually bless stuff now. Oh, sick. Our people can handle it from here. Go, Percival. Take back what is rightfully yours. Oh, we're doing this. Oh, we're actually, we're actually going about it. We're actually taking back the kingdom. Cass, I'm so sorry. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I know. Why don't trust Cass? I really don't. Are you friend or foe? Foe of Delilah and Silas, at least. I can take you to them. If you free me. That's a little sussy baka. Ooh. Ah, uh, is she look is she on the list? This is the only freedom I offer you. Oh. Mercy, wait. I came from the ah, 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 ah. That, 
าอ่ะอ่ะโอ I mean, watching episode 10, so, but like, what? She's on the list. Who is she? She's on the list. I guess we're gonna find out, but like, who is she and why is she on the list? And also, why is she in the dungeon? She got her arm chopped off too. Very interesting, very interesting, very interesting indeed. But yeah, it looks like, looks like we're doing this. Like, we're at, they're taking back the castle. Like, they're just, they're, they're doing the same thing with the castle. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out because it looks like Delilah and Celeste are you know, spitting up whatever time table that they have to do whatever ritual that they plan on doing. I don't even know what they're doing, though. I've, I'm assuming that's going to be revealed, like, um, as we get closer to the last couple episodes uh, of the series. Like, I'm, I'm intrigued at what their whole plan is. Like, what's the big idea? Uh, I wonder if it's something that they have to do because they're in debt, indebted to this, like, whispered one or something. I don't know. But it's very interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued to see what their motive is behind all of this, even taking White Stone to begin with. So, also, I'm really curious where they came from as well, too, because it looked like they were, they came, they already had, like, uh, at least of, they were of high nobility beforehand. That's also really interesting, too, why they, I'm sure they picked White Stone for a very uh, good reason, but I'm, I'm interested in to see if they're, like, it was just a random town they came across, or was there a reason why they chose White Stone to, like, take over, and why they left their place, too. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Anyways, uh, episode 10. Oh, Dr. Ripley. <gasps> oh, she was one of them. Just oh tell my us gosh. how to access the secret under Whitestone, and this will all end. Please. What? What secret? Oh, she's the one who tortured him. Oh, yeah, blow her brains out, dude. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Sadly, that may leave a mark. Oh my gosh. Doctor. Yeah, she knows. Percy, wait! Percy, wait for what? She doesn't know, but like, Percy, don't wait, blow her brains out. Though I shouldn't be encouraging that because, like, after he completes everybody on his list, then he's gonna, you know? So. Percy! She may have something we can use. They kept her alive for a reason. I am so sorry if you hear <laughs> vacuuming noises. It's just, there's nothing I can do about it. We're both engineers, Percival. We know the value of knowledge. You must be curious as to the information I possess. She's slimy. She is slimy little turd. Percy, hey. Love you, pal, but we gotta deal with this smoke thing. I mean, you are legit mm -hmm. fucked up. Yeah. Not this again. What do you mean, not this again? You divine anything? If Percy will let me. <gasps> what the hell? Uh... Percy! <laughs> I don't know what it is. He does need to get exercised. He needs an exorcism. Your concerns are appreciated, truly, but we must press forward. Buddy, you're not- I don't think you'll be alive for that, though. I mean, they can't just go to a temple right now, but man, you need an exorcism, buddy, you need an exorcism. It was a simple transaction. They needed an engineer, I needed a patron to fund my experiments. Yo, these people are greedy, damn. And why am I not simply shooting you, heading to the throne room, and doing the same to them? Because, Percival. They aren't there. Their concerns lie with the ziggurat. Oh, the temple thing that talks, that can talk to the gods that was in the book. It all makes sense. It does? No, no not really. <laughs> Their ritual, whatever it is, it'll happen there. And the ziggurat is not up. It's down. You're, not, you're on his list. She ain't surviving. And I don't want her to survive either. We're only sparing your life because you're useful to us. For now. Damn, look at that. Cows, look at that cold heart stare from cows. <laughs> Never thought you and I would work together. At the moment, you are the luckiest person in Whitestone. She sucks. She's so cocky, like, and she is has no sympathy. It's super unsympathetic to the fact that she literally tortured, like, this him as a kid. Like, Jesus Christ. 
So, uh, <clears throat> Cassandra, was it? Oh my God, isn't hit on Seeing as how we're two unattached adults. <laughs> no. <laughs> Percy, absolutely not. <laughs> Briarwood's request, I was able to augment the structure with a particular mineral. Residuum. Oh, that's probably why they took Winestone. So, it worked? I mean, you said sorry? Yeah, I guess she said sorry to herself. Mm. Oh, are we gonna talk about that? I warned you those vines have thorns. <laughs> <laughs> she always has to rub it in. Such a well-constructed weapon. Come now. You must be dying to talk shop with an intellectual equal. She has a point. Your mind is unlike any I've come across. Thank you, Cassandra. <laughs> Not a compliment. I really do hope he gets to keep a sibling, but uh, part of me thinks that Cass ain't making that of you. But I hope I'm wrong, because he really needs a family member in his life. Other than Vox Machina, of course. <sighs> Some of my best work. This far below Whitestone, it took ages. Hey, uh, just to point this out before we go get ourselves killed, we do have evidence now. We could drop this whole thing. Uh, it's too late now. They are way. They're in the tent. Like, they're, they're literally like uh, tens of hundreds of thousands of feet underground. Like, what? Like, there is no backing down now. You're already in the temple. Okay. Oof. Okay. It's a drug factory! No, it's not. We just hit the jackpot! No, you didn't. Anybody have a pipe? Please don't. This is residuum. The pipes must carry acid for its chemical refinement process. Why so much? That is the million dollar question. Huh? Cassandra DeRolla. Oh, I knew it. Ooh. Be fast. Yeah, he's fast. Uh, see, tell your sister to quit taking the piss before I forget my man. I knew it. Yeah, she's way too sussy, Baka. Been with them for way too long to not betray them. To, you know, Percy. That's not gonna work. You fought them already. Oh no. Brother. Why are you doing this? You did this to yourself, Percy. The day you left me lying in the snow. He didn't mean to. My brother abandoned me. He's being controlled, right? He has to be. Yeah, she's 100% being controlled. I am a Briarwood. <sighs> Why did Cassandra's name end up on his list, though? Oh, it's people who betrayed him. She betrayed him, so did everybody else. So she ended up on the list. She, end she ended up on his list. That that's what it is. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I get it. Now. If you value your lives, you'll let my brother go. I'm afraid life is far more valuable to you than it is to us. Oh no, Vex. Vex, I mean. <laughs> Okay, uh, 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 what's gonna happen here, guys? Oh no! Oh, oh my! They. Anyone have a plan, Vex? Why are you looking at me, Percy? A little help? He is in shock right now. The feed pipe. If we can cut it off, it might buy us some time. Yes. Now that guy's not gonna work. Uh, fam? Oh, shit. Oh, that made it worse. Uh, scare it, fam! Come on, pile on! Ooh, smart. But he has to keep playing the whole time, right? Percy, snap the fuck out of it! The point. She's gone again. She's not dead, though. The people in this room, we're not. We will never abandon you. Aww. You want your sister back, and I want my brother. But if we're to have a chance of saving them, you have to save us first! Come on, Percy, you got this. Come on. Ain't dead, bro, so she still can be saved. Can you get us to the ceiling? What the hell? You fuckers are too heavy! Heavy. <laughs> you got this, Scanlan. The drain. The stopper! In the acid? Go in! 
Grog, no. Okay. Close your mouth at least. Oh my gosh, Grog's insane, dude. Yo. He is tough, dude. That's crazy. I can't believe he's doing that. Grog, please close your mouth, dude. Is Captain Winky still there? Uh, still hanging low, buddies. Oh my god. That's funny. And I'm he good. Calls his testicles. Oh my gosh. Where does this lead? The ziggurat. Cassandra. Dr. Ripley's definitely gonna plan something so she can escape. That's very obvious. The ritual requires a blood sacrifice. <gasps> um. Spoiled for choice. What is the point though? Another episode down. That was that's it. Do the next episode that will next reaction that I'll do will be the final one for Vox Machina. Uh-huh. That is oh my gosh, dude. Oh, Cass, Cass, Cass. Listen, I knew it honestly. She was being super sus in the beginning. I didn't really trust her. She was definitely all, she definitely like was holding a grudge for Percy for leaving her behind. Even though, like, what is he, what, he thought she was dead. Like, what was he supposed to do? But also, I do think, like, as, it, as I was saying before, like, there's no way she was left out and all of her devices do whatever that she wanted without Delilah having some sort of control over her. So, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that either she's, it looks like she's being controlled, like it definitely does look like she's being controlled, or maybe she's, maybe like there's some control over her, but I feel like a lot of it, I feel like her resentment towards her brother definitely probably is like actually coming from her, and that's true, and it's probably being used against her um, to go again, to like betray her brother, so. I'm interested to see where what's gonna happen to Cass. I feel like she's probably not gonna make it out alive. Who knows? Um, I don't think so though. Yeah, anyways, I don't think Cass is gonna like live to see outside of Whitestone, unfortunately. But uh, again, their motives though. I I'm uh, I'm still very much intrigued by like interested to see what their motives are. Like what what are they what are they doing? Um, they're definitely, gonna, they're definitely saving it for like the last couple episodes, that's for sure. And um, I'm so glad Pi Pike is back. She's back better than ever. She's just kicking butt left and right. Akilah is starting to get more comfortable into her powers more. Um, also, Vax confessed right then and there. I mean, they thought they're gonna die. I guess they like so. I understand that, but like, he was like, they can know I've been in love with you, right? And she's like, uh, what? Like, what? Not not now. No. I mean, she's like, I mean, I understand. She doesn't want to talk about it right, right now. Literally in the midst of battle. They're like, I mean, I can understand why she he would want to talk about it and why she wouldn't want to talk about it. But like, you know, she doesn't want to talk about it right now. They're in the midst of battle. Like, you know, she's like, she wants to focus. So anyways, I, I don't even, I don't, you know. Oh. So Anna, Dr. Anna Ripley, like, Miss Mans, Miss Mams. Like, listen here, buddy. Like, you're lucky Percy hasn't blown your brains out already, okay? Like, I am- you literally tortured him. How unsympathetic can you be? Like, what? Where's the compassion? You know? Like, Jesus, brother. Like, I can't believe she has the audacity to, like, be like, untie me now. Or like, are both intellectuals like just like talking out or whatever like like what sorry for the vacuum noises i'm like i knew about it but like like what like what's wrong with this lady anyways there's so much vacuum noises going on right now that i probably i need to end it right here so thank you so much for watching really appreciate it like and subscribe if you enjoyed comment down below your opinions and stuff like that i'm so sorry um follow me on social media more of my face and that's gonna be for this video see you next time bye